Members of the jury, if the motorman stopped the car for the purpose of permitting passengers to alight, and while the car was standing still and the young lady was in the act of alighting, he started the car, it would justify you in concluding that he was negligent and that he did not exercise the proper care, and if he was negligent and the young lady was injured, the defendant, the rapid transit company, should answer in damages. You will naturally conclude that the first thing for you to consider is whether or not the motorman was negligent, because you know from your own experience in life that it is possible for people to fall in the street alongside of a car by twisting an ankle or stepping on a slippery pavement, and the movement of the car might have nothing whatever to do with the fall. You also know that it is possible for a human It is possible for a human It is possible for a human Hey well. Uh get this? 